Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be featuring Tier 10 OG Chinese Heavy Tank 1113. For a very long time, this was the only Tier 10 Chinese Heavy Tank until they added WZ1115A and then eventually added WZ1111QL. Nonetheless, this tank is a very, very solid tank, especially after the huge buff it got last year. This tank has mobility, it has hit points, and DPM. However, this is different from your traditional heavy as it is center mounted. So you have to be careful while playing this tank, especially on ridges, because your front plate can easily get pinned. And more often than not, you can't really play ridges head on. However, you can play side ridges or you can side scrape pretty effectively as it's a center mounted turret as opposed to front mounted. So Chalapi went to F5 position the very beginning per shot in 140 so we are in cliff and in cliff if you want to have a good game or if you want to win you need to either take bowl or the five line and uh, since it was an encounter bowl was a risky play as you can get deleted by their tags if they're sniping on one two line and shalap had the mobility to play the five line so he immediately rushed to the middle position and he's not playing the ridge on the right side as you can see because this tank doesn't have gun depression is using He's doing his limited gun depression as it is 5 degrees up front but 7 on the side. So while he's peeking sideways he can still get that extra gun depression and be safe. And in here you can see they're not really focusing on him but he's able to unleash the DPM of 113 and move forward and backward in cover quickly with the mobility. This is one of the very mobile tanks or heavy tanks and a very reliable as well as long as you keep in mind that not try to peek the ridge head on. Chieftain wasn't paying attention. He peeked on the side and put a shot in Chieftain. The game just started and he's already at 3500 damage, 2k block and 2200 damage. This is just an action packed game. There's no time to rest. He just keep pumping damage. He got penned by Super Conk, realized it, retreated. He's using the dead tank or uh, of I7 to shield himself from Super Conk now and uh, try to get rid of 140 who's one shot same as with Chieftain he realized that he's a easy shot on Chieftain put a heat round on the hatch he has loaded all heat and uh, that comes in handy especially because it has limited gun depression up front and whenever you are uh, uh, trying to micro peak you only see the turret of most tanks as it's difficult to see the lower plate and heat comes in handy in those situations and as long as you can get away with not uh, hitting space armor he is the preferred ammo type as well for heavy tanks if you're fighting head-on he's now retreating to f5 as he finds himself that he can't really do anything to the super conch as well as the 140 or the t62 has retreated he's already at 4500 damage Emil finishes off T95 E6 and this super conch is also pushing and he realized that uh, he can now easily farm that super conch as super conch is no longer hull down. He bounced the second shot as he couldn't get a shot on the lower plane. He's again trying to side scrape. Emil reacts to super conch and super conch seems a little bit confused here. I think he's not loaded yet giving his side. And that's where the heat uh, could be a little bit of an issue as he was trying to get the side of the Super Kong. But uh, couldn't manage to hit the drive wheel and end up hitting the tracks. And uh, lost on 400 damage. But he did get a decent amount of track damage as his team was quick to farm the Super Kong that he tracked. He's now decided to rotate to the bowl as enemy teams have gotten around the hill and pushing the F7 area. However, his team is very supporting as well. They are farming as they're coming in. T57 is down to one shot. So is the remaining two tanks. And the only remaining tank now is IS-4. This push is usually very risky when you get around the hill. Yeah, you can win the 8-9 line, but even after that, sometimes it's just better to come back to D line rather than make that push, which the enemy team did, as it doesn't really work, as you have to cross a huge opening. E Put a shot in 430 and is now at 7500 damage. His assist is split, but it's mostly track with 3300 damage. Uh, assist, Frigero tries to flank. He gets Amorak again and he's out of repair kit. Can't, will Frigero Amorak him, but Frigero is focused on getting in cover. 
the right play for him, but uh, not sure how many shots Spurgeon has either. With Salap is not uh, not being patient as he's continuously getting bombarded with artillery. So he's like, okay, let's just get rid of this progetto before getting into a safer spot and maybe get some revenge from the artillery as, as well. He's at 2k damage away from 10k. And uh, enemy has five tanks left. The artillery gets spotted. He tries to put a shot at artillery, but penned someone else who was just in front of the artillery lucky for artillery but unfortunate for that tank probably it was, was another TD uh, I guess he realized that he has a potential and we can see a little bit panic driving here which again is pretty common whenever you think there's an opportunity to hit that five digit magic number and not the easiest to do in 113 because of a different play style Leopard 1 gets spotted for the first time. He tried to put a shot at him, however, missed as the heat's not the fastest shell. I don't think the AP is that fast in 113 either. But uh, yeah, he hit Leopard and bounced, and that's like that's the frustrating part sometimes. You know, you'll, you'll hit heat and it'll hit at a weird angle, and you end up bouncing the side. He managed to get 9300 damage. Two more shots to hit 10k. However, his team is also closing in. Artillery is doing damage. Can he hit the 10k mark here? Another shot. Another shot into CC mark 2. However, they do have one more TD that might have some HP. Artillery still at one shot. Tehran gets spotted. He put a shot at Tehran. 9700 damage. One more shot to hit the number. He sees an opening on artillery, but artillery was worth the shot because uh, he might not have got an opportunity to put another one. So he took a shot on Tehran, penned him, he died in return. But uh, that was the right play at that time if you want to hit the, the 10k mark. And that was it. A great, great game by Chola. That's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Have a great rest of your day.